Hey guys and welcome to this video. My name is Andy, thank you for watching. Today I want to do a quick recap of my experiences with the WordShop training program and show you how I went from a 29 inch vertical and these pretty embarrassing attempts at dunking to a new personal best 37 inch vertical and now being able to dunk easily. In this video review I'm going to talk about the features of WordShop, my experiences during the 8 week program and what I especially liked about it and also what I didn't like about it as much. And if you stick around until the end of this video I'm going to give you a way to find out what WordShop could do for your vertical and if you too could be dunking after 8 weeks of WordShop. But before I continue I want to introduce myself real quick. My name is Andy, I'm 29 years old, I live in Germany and most importantly to the basketball players out there, I'm 6 feet tall. I still play here on a team in a rather low level local league and at the end of last season I was so annoyed by my lack of athleticism and hops that I decided I had to do something about it. And the goal I set for myself was that I would be able to dunk before I turned 30. That's where WordShock comes into play. Adam Foker, the creator of WordShock, promises you to improve your vertical jump by 9 to 15 inches in only 8 weeks. And I have to say that made me a bit uneasy at first, because that sounds really extreme and unrealistic. Um, a lot like these horrible internet diet promotions you maybe know, uh, like lose 20 pounds in 5 days by only eating chocolate. But the rest of the website made a really professional impression and they offer a 60 day money back guarantee so I mean really I couldn't lose much by trying it, right? Okay, so how does WordShock work? The WordShock training program lasts for 8 weeks and during that time you will be doing 41 workouts. And yes, that's a little more than 5 workouts a week, so quite a lot. And these workouts focus on different areas which are important for jumping. Stuff like advanced plyometrics, where you're doing jumping exercises like death jumps or box jumps. Then there's core strengthening exercises like planks. And then there's also exercises for your lower body power and explosiveness. Uh, stuff like uh, hill sprints or squat jumps. The exercises of the workouts are all explained in great detail by Adam Falker himself in HD videos. And these videos really make sure that you are doing the exercises correctly. The workout plans, you can watch them on your cell phone or tablet or you can just download the PDF and print them out old school style. Alright, let's get to the meat of this video. So how did my 8 weeks of WordShock go? A few days before I started WordShock I went to my favorite basketball court and measured my running vertical jump. And the result was surprisingly decent, so I measured a 29 inch vertical which allowed me to grab the rim pretty easily. And then the workouts began. And I have to say, after week 1 I was really sore. I mean, after being a couch potato for far too long, my body was clearly shocked by 6 intense workouts in only 7 days. I wasn't even able to make a progress video after week 1 because my legs were aching so badly. I mean, week 2 was already a lot better as my body got more and more used to the workout and the first results were really promising. During week 3 and 4 of WordShock I really got into the groove of the training and I could feel how I got more explosive each day. So after week 4 I once again went to check my vertical and on that day my legs felt really springy and explosive and the weather was also very hot which is always good for high jumping because you are warmed up easily. So after doing my dynamic warm up for about 20 minutes and trying some jumps without the basketball, I picked up a ball and tried to dunk it and I think I missed like the first three attempts but on the fourth attempt that happened. I managed to make my first dunk and I can't tell you how great that felt. After only four weeks of workshop I was able to dunk, I couldn't believe it. For the first 5 weeks everything went along nicely and I was increasing my vertical each week and I was already getting a little bit greedy and thinking about 360s and windmills and all kinds of crazy dunks. But of course during week 6 uh, the intense workouts caught up with my body and for the first time in WordShock I actually decreased my vertical. I mean my legs were just feeling super heavy and I was really tired and I was a bit concerned that I might injure myself if I continued working out in this condition 
And uh, yeah, that's why I decided to take two days off after week six and really rest up and yeah, get some rest from my body. In week seven, I was still a little tired, but I was back to dunking with ease and I just wanted to make it through these last two weeks of word shock and the thought was there would be enough time to rest after word shock. So after eight weeks of hard training, I made it through word shock, but then fall decided to surprise me with really bad weather and I was not able to test my vertical on the basket I used to test it. All right, so this video was taken one day after I finished word shock in a gym where my team usually practices. And this is a regular 10 foot rim on which we have played official games before. So this really is a test if I could make a dunk in game. But that's not all. After resting for one week, I made this video testing my new vertical jump. And as you can see, I am almost able to touch the rim with my elbow, which is really crazy. Considering my standing reach, this makes a 37 inch running vertical jump. And that means I narrowly missed out on my very ambitious goal of a 40 inch vertical. But still, I mean, I couldn't be happier with my results. My new vertical jump really allows for some cool dunks, like this one off the backboard. And maybe with a little more practice, I can add even more variety to my dunks now. All right, now that you have seen how WordShock worked out for me, you may have noticed that I'm a big fan of the program. But there are two small points that I didn't like about WordShock as much. I personally would have liked if there was some more explanation on why WordShock was designed the way it is. I am a bit of a bookworm and I just like to know the theoretical foundation of the workouts I do. Now I know that won't be relevant for most people, but for me personally, a little bit more background information would have been nice. I also think that the training might be very close to overtraining for a lot of people. So I personally took two days off after week six because I grew more tired each day. And I've heard a lot of comments along the same lines in my YouTube videos or over on my blog. And I know this problem is easily solved by just taking a few days off, but still I think that could have been stressed more prominently on one of Adam's videos. Moving on to stuff I especially liked about WordShark. So first and most obvious, it worked. I managed to increase my vertical by eight inches in only eight weeks and reached my goal of being able to dunk before I turned 30. So what's not to like about that? What I also really liked about the program is that you don't need a gym membership. So I did all my workouts after work in a nearby park and there was actually great fun and a good diversion from sitting at a desk in the office all day. If I had to go to a smelly gym five days a week after work, I don't know if I would have sticked to the program. And on a related note, I really liked how easy WordShock is to follow. The exercises are all done with body weight and they are easily explained in these short videos and really there's not much you can do wrong there. All right, to sum up, I would definitely recommend WordShock to every basketball player who is determined to increasing his vertical jump. Now, it won't be easy and you will have to do a lot of work, but WordShock definitely improves your vertical jump. Especially to basketball players who have no access to a gym or are not familiar with difficult weightlifting exercises like squats or deadlifts, this is the perfect program for you. If you think about doing WordShock yourself, then listen up because this might be interesting to you. So in the last two months, I've read everything I could find about jumping and I gained a lot of knowledge through my own training. And I noticed that there were two questions I was asked all the time. And those two questions were, how much would WordShock increase my vertical? And the second and very related question was, will I be able to dunk after WordShock? So I have written a small guide trying to answer these two questions by taking into account your current state of fitness, your height and also your standing reach. So if you're interested in that, just click on the button below or check out the link in the description. And also, if you know enough already and you want to start increasing your vertical now, there's also a link to the WordShop program in the description, so check it out. All right, that's it with this rather lengthy video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate and drop them here in the YouTube comments or head over onto my blog on www.wordshock.com and ask them there. I will make sure to answer them as soon as possible. Until later, bye!